Resident Evil, the final chapter. This is my five minute review of the sixth installment and supposedly final chapter of Resident Evil, the films. Well, here's what I have to say quickly and briefly as in, in five minutes. For those of you who will follow the franchise of the films, you know the standard of which to expect. Don't expect Oscar, Oscar award worthy uh, film here. It's entertaining, yes. That being said, if I'm just sticking it in like, like let's just say that Resident Evil is its own category and genre, that franchise, I will give this one, this review, okay? The story is lame. Oh, this is spoiler free, by the way. Spoiler free. The story is lame. The story could have been good if not for the fact that it felt like a cop-out. It could have been good on its own, but there was no precedent for this storyline set throughout the other films, so it's like, pfft, so it fell flat. Uh, the acting is decent. Subpar to decent in that range. Uh, the action is good. The action is really good, as per what you would expect. So on that standard, yes, it's really good. Um, the movie is fast-paced, sometimes a little too fast-paced, uh, which obviously creates lack of story development. Uh, it starts off in a way where you're not, you're like, what's even going on here? Okay, so here's here's why I'm also really disappointed. For those of you who have seen the other films, the fifth one ends. This is a spoiler for the fifth one, but I'm not going to spoil the, the final chapter. So, uh, Retribution, Resident Evil Retribution ends with Albert Rhett Wesker on a rooftop, supposedly giving Alice her powers back and gathering the squad because it's like we got we to gotta work together to clean up this mess. The movie, this movie, not, nah, yeah, let's just throw that all under the bridge. Let's just... Let's just walk past that, that that happened. And you know how they walk past it? In the opening narrative of the movie, her monologue where she describes, explains what's going on, this is, this is how we walk past, this is how we write things off, okay? Uh, it was a trap. Wow. Wow. No story, no insight, no nothing. It was a trap. That's it. It was a trap, and... We don't get to see what happened, we don't know how it was a trap, we don't know what it led to, we don't know how, why we see Alice, the main character, where she is now. Nope. Nope. That's, that's all you get. So if you're expecting to be carrying on from Retribution's ending, you will be extremely disappointed. Okay? Now, the title, the final chapter, implies that this movie is the ending of this franchise, right? So, on that note, now they're, they're writing themselves out of this extreme apocalypse scenario that they created. And they want to just conclude it in this one film. So it's like all the buildup of the other films, like kind of just, there was nothing really there anymore. So yeah, the story was like, meh, meh, cop out kind of endings and stuff. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. Um... It is entertaining. It's not like I was bored or thought it was stupid, but it was just, you know, I'm a huge stickler for storytelling and uh, this one didn't tell me much of a story. Oh, the other annoying thing. That's what I forgot. Every jump scare scenario possible is in this movie overdone to like to the stupidest extreme where you'll, they'll do a jump scare of like the monster, like a monster running by. They turn the, the character will turn their head. And then you'll see another like one again, and again, and again, and again. And every time a scene transitions, same thing, same thing. Unless it's like a huge action scene where there's no silence, so there's no suspense. Constantly, constantly. Like that, that's the whole movie. Like, it's like, okay, you're, you're, you're diluting the jump scare. You're ruining it. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I give this movie a uh, 4 out of 10. The action's good. The story makes the, the story's rushed rushed to conclude the series, um, 
Uh, the acting is okay at times. Uh, yeah, but that's it. I don't think they did the what they. I don't think they did it justice. They could. They did end the storyline, so to speak, but they didn't do it justice. And they always, you know, you know how it is. Let's let's nod to the original films. Let's throw out nods to the various things from the original films to for fan service and pandering and nostalgia. But yeah, I give it a four out of ten. Check it out if you. I've seen them all, so I had to. I had to watch it. Uh, <laughs> I've seen them all. If you have seen them all, definitely watch it just to see how it ends. So my phone just went off, so I'm just gonna continue. If you're not a Resident Evil fan, don't bother. There's too much to catch up on. The story's not very compelling on its own in this film. So yeah, meh. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Let's keep growing together. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy your travels, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.